Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today we're being Star Wars The Black Series, Pablo Jill. He's from Wave 2 of The Black Series in 2013, and the retail price is $9.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Pablo Jill's a Jedi Knight, who appeared during the Battle of Geonosis in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Since the movie's released back in 2002, this is the second figure of him to be released. On the back of the figure, with the Jedi robe removed, you can see that he has an interesting body design, and a detailed one at that. For the most part, he's wearing your basic Jedi outfit. His head sculpt is really where it's at, and it's pretty far out there too. His eyes, which are below his mouth, are painted in gold, and they have black Y-shaped pupils. Hanging from his chin is multiple tentacles, his mouth has exposed gums and teeth, and the skin is painted in both orange and tan. Like most Jedi figures, Hasbro put a lot of effort into sculpting the outfit, which has creases and folds, along with multiple layers. His brown belt has silver paint applications for the buckle, as well as other details, and there's also a peg hole for displaying a lightsaber hilt. On the back of the belt, as well as the sides, is pouches. His boots are very realistic, and they're nicely detailed, with straps and buckles. His legs are arched outwards, at the knees. And if you haven't noticed already, he's a rather large and bulky figure, and has a hefty weight to him. Weapons and accessories include a blue lightsaber, with a silver hilt, and a removable Jedi robe, which is made out of soft goods. And the articulation for Pablo Jill includes a ball-jointed head, ball hunch shoulders, ball hunch elbows, ball-jointed wrists, swivel waist, ball hunch hips, ball hunch knees, and ball hinge ankles with a rocking joint. So for about $10, if you're a fan of Jedi's and love to collect them, this is a must-have for your collection. He's got a cool design, he's super articulated, and he's a pretty large figure, definitely giving your bang for your buck. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.